get it back.
as much the reason why there are still amphibians and flying boats in operation in the Caribbean, serving those small islands down there. Can't you shoot through a regular eye viewfinder? Lexington had a long career. It'd be a lot easier. Finished yeah. up in about 1991 as the Navy's training carrier. This generator once more deploying its air brake. So, from its discovery and eventual transport back to England in 1978, it took more than 20 years before it eventually made its way to the military aviation museum facility. Well, paper now, the Hawker Hurricane was probably taken off first. Uh, this particular hurricane uh, was built in Canada by Kinetic Canadian Cart and Foundry during the operation. And they were built in Canada. And this one remained in Canada during the war as a trainer for the RAF because they sent a lot of their pilots to Canada to train them, you know, outside of the combat zone, obviously, and they could ship back to England and join their forces. Hurricane taking off. Israel Corsair for With him sitting in the middle of the only pilot of the Corsair who was type rated originally. There goes the Hawker Hurricane. The Hurricane going all the way again. I would advise you to go and have a look at the Hawker Fury sitting in front of the British encampments among the reenactors, and you'll see the striking resemblance between these two aircraft. Now, as has already been pointed out with the T-40 Warhawk, which has that distinctive chin intake for the radiator, both on the underside of the fuselage. example of the one was built in 1945, where it was immediately sent to England to serve with the English Air Force. It was transferred to Sweden in September of 1947. And taxing now. Taxing now to the end of the runway. The intake on the underside of the fuselage fits in direct line with the propeller, and so the propeller can assist in cooling the engine, but both the the Hurricane and the Spitfire have a tendency to... The Hurricane, uh, the one scoop underneath actually has two radiators, and one is for these by eight inches. And, uh, 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 because then again you have the airplane crew not backing up against something, so you lower the drag of the airplane. Corsair. As has already been noted, such planes as the museum's Corsair, which was built by Goodyear, and are having these aircraft have been built under license by various manufacturers, and even in the introduction, go out and have a look at it. Probably one of the finest examples of Packard's work. Here comes the. Uh, it is believed that the airplane served with the Naval Air Reserve Squadron as a training aircraft before being struck from naval records in 1956. The plane was the plane was purchased in 1964 by a family of ten It's interesting to contemplate for resident Ray Beecham, 
born in Norfolk. Touching down the Corsair. And as she rolls to a stop, you can really get an appreciation for the sheer size of not only the plane, but also the diameter of the propeller. And you can see quite clearly why the gull wing was adapted to accommodate the needs of the pilot and also the need for clearance of the propeller on the ground.